Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I've got a couple of a really, well a few, really easy fall DIYs for you. They're simple and easy to put together. I think I'm wrapping up my fall DIYs, but I'm not making any promises. We shall see. Um, but anyways, let's get right into them. So for the first DIY, I have these two wood tabletop decor pieces from Dollar Tree. And I they came in different colors. I had picked the white ones up a long time ago um, just because I knew they'd be easier to paint. I didn't know what I was going to do with them, but they are wood. They're heavy pieces. They're nice and substantial. So I'm taking two different types of wood glue. I don't know if that's necessary, but I just was trying out what I have. And we're going to glue them together. And then I decided to just put some painter's tape on them to hold it together while the glue um, cured or, you know, settled and dried. And that way I could kind of move it out of the way. So I wrapped them with some painter's tape to hold it together and let that set for I think like 30 minutes is what the bottle says but you could also just use hot glue if you wanted but I wanted to use the wood glue so once that was all dry we took off the painters tape and I was like really excited <laughs> because it worked and everything was holding together great so then I just took my sanding block and smoothed it out because this um, decor was definitely a little bit rough on um, on the surfaces so I am gonna give this a couple coats in the Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin and I started out by just doing the front, and I do have to touch up the sides just a little bit, but I was trying to be careful. And I do end up painting the back orange as well. Um, I just don't show that here. We're just taking some white stickers that I had on hand. You can use any stickers you have, or stencils, or freehand, or Cricut, whatever you've got. These stickers are from Hobby Lobby, and I picked them up on clearance a while ago. I love when I find stickers on clearance there. They're often in the sticker aisle, not the clearance aisle, just a heads up for you. But these stickers were great. They were actually able to be moved, as you can see here in just a second. As I'm putting this on, I realized I was not going to have room for the rest of my phrase. So I moved pumpkins over. And I'm also um, forgetting something here. We're going to go back and fix that in a minute. You're going to see um, sometimes that happens when doing projects. You have a plan and then like you spell words wrong or you miss something. Um, anyways. So I'm going over with some antique wax and we're just dry brushing across the stickers, the front, and I decided to do the edges here. This is where I saw that there was some orange paint that bled under the edges, so I'm going to just touch that up really quick. You can see here that I painted the back of the sign orange as well. I don't know why I did that. It seems like white would have been a good idea and then I could have made it a double-sided sign for another season. Who knows? Whatever. So now I have these wooden stickers left over from I think last year's Target dollar spot. I had a package and I had some leaves and one pumpkin left. So I thought this is perfect um, to use these up on this project. And I'm they have a sticker on them, but I'm just using some wood glue to make sure they get down really good. And I did that to all of them. And then I'm starting to Mod Podge and I was like, uh, there is something missing in this phrase. It's supposed to say autumn leaves and the pumpkins, please. So I pulled off that leaf sticker, thankfully it has not fully set, threw on the and sticker, threw a little bit of antique wax over it, and finished Mod Podging. And this is how it came out. I really was excited about this one. Um, and it's nice and substantial. It's pretty long. I would say it's over a foot long. And so I always love when I can make a larger substantial piece from Dollar Tree items. Now this next one is barely a DIY, but I have one of these chalkboard easels. From the Dollar Tree, I've had it for a while, and I'm using a chalkboard pen or chalkboard marker, I'm not sure what it's called, from the Dollar Tree, and I just decided to write out fall is in the air. I had messed around a little bit with angles on this paper of my letters and words just to figure out how it was going to, how the pen was going to write, and try to mix up the font, and then I'm just putting on one of these little wooden leaves. And that's all I'm doing to this one. Um, I guess if you didn't glue something on, you could change it out. I'm not sure how that's going to work. I may try at some point to take that leaf off and change out the saying in the future. But I thought it was really cute and very simple and just something easy to tuck into some of my existing decor. So that is it for that one. Now for this next one, I have this sign that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I got it on clearance for like 79 cents. And I liked the plaid pattern. So we are just going to cover up the center, and I decided I'm just going to use some painter's tape to <laughs> assure that I don't get any paint down there uh, because I really like that pattern. And I thought tape, uh, painting over this, this is like a little leather piece, 
it would be a lot easier than taking it off. I was afraid I would ruin the project. So I just did a couple of coats of white Waverly chalk paint. Um, that's all I, yeah, just painted that. And then I have these window clings from the Dollar Tree. I thought these were super cute. These just came in. My store is still getting in new fall stuff and the Christmas stuff all at the same time. So I wanted to cut off the gray perimeter here and I just decided to pull out my paper cutter because I had it and I figured why not. Um, but you could just do that with scissors or you could leave, leave the gray border, but I wanted this to really blend in and maybe not look like it was a decal put on. And because this decal has like a clear background, um, I'm just going to Mod Podge it right on and then we're going to just center it the best we can and this fit really well and you really can't see the edges at all when I'm all done with this. The blue writing on this one is glitter but it wasn't a glitter that really comes off and it wasn't too much. It's not that I don't like glitter. I don't use a lot of glitter. I'm, I don't mind it more in like Christmas but anyways it wasn't a lot of glitter so if that is an issue for you don't worry about it. Besides we're Mod Podging over it to help it stick down which would seal in any glitter anyway. Take off the painter tape and it was a clean, you know, clean finish there, nothing leaked. And I thought this was a really cute and easy decor piece. I love how this came out. Um, but you could use it, you know, you could use one of the Dollar Tree square signs. You could put down some scrapbook paper if you wanted a similar look in the background. Anyways, moving on. We have this cloche from the Dollar Tree. I'm just taking off the sticker, which I was so glad came off easy. I'm glad they made sure it was an easy sticker for this because that would have been annoying. And all we're doing for this one is painting the base in some Waverly chalk paint. I thought that um, white would be one neutral for different seasons and it just didn't look, I felt like the black looked pretty plasticky and I just wanted it to look a little bit nicer. So I gave that a couple of coats. You want to make sure it dries thoroughly in between so that it doesn't um, chip or peel off. So just make sure that it is fully dry before you do the second coat. And then I'm covering it with some Mod Podge because I knew that the cloche would be coming on and off and I didn't want to chip away any of that paint. I was, you know, hoping this would last a little while. And for this one, I'm just using these mini velvet pumpkins from Dollar Tree and some, I don't know if that's called moss or if that's one of the grassy ones, but they all have different names, but um, picked up from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just trying to kind of round it so that the edges, you know, it's not going crazy outside of this little circle and then I'm giving it a trim because I got to put the lid on and I didn't want you know stragglers hanging out but you could do this with anything um, I'm definitely going to switch it up for Christmas but I'm just putting three little pumpkins in there I was thought about trying to put some fairy lights but I wasn't sure how to get the like if the cord would be pinched underneath there so I decided to skip that anyways I thought it came out super cute and that is it for this little DIY all right, well, that's going to do it for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and make sure your notification bell is turned on so you don't miss my future videos. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.